there, I'm Steve, and welcome to Jam Center Entertainment. And welcome to the conversation. Just before we get started, there are many ways you can help. You can like and subscribe so you never miss a conversation. Most importantly, please share this video. Get the word out there. There's a community we can talk about all things that we love. Today on Throwback Thursday, we're looking at The Specialist. This movie is pretty bad. It's not so bad, it's good, but it does have its laughable moments. <laughs> Besides starring Sylvester Stallone, it's also starring Sharon Stone and James Wood. And I put up in post, but he's Maroney from the Christopher Nolan Batman series. <laughs> Part of what makes this movie bad is that it's tone deaf, it's convoluted, and it's over the top. But it's not over the top in a good way, per se. Like I said, there are some parts where it's, like, kind of funny. Like, two of the explosions, <laughs> and just James Wood in general. It's just shame he's not doing more movies, because he, he's just awesome. He hams it up in such a way where it works for the movie. This movie you're not really supposed to take seriously. I really think James Wood ad-libbed a lot of his lines. Okay, so what makes this convoluted? and tone deaf at the same time. This is a grudge story. It's a revenge story. And just for the sake of of having it in there because 80s and 90s movies kind of did this. Just had love interest for the sake of love interest. Nothing would change in the movie except for some scenes. Everything can play out completely the same without the love story. And the only reason why this is rated R, it's rated R. Kids don't watch it. There's a lot of swearing and Sharon Stone is naked for some of it. Why is it a grudge movie? In the beginning of the movie, they introduce Ray, played by Stallone, and Ned, played by James Wood, on a a mission against the cartel. They are in the army, marines, navy seals, they don't say. They're in the military. And Stallone is a bomb specialist, hence the title. James Wood is, okay, the reference is only twice in the movie. I mean, the kind of references are throughout the movie, but really only twice. Ray is the rigger, he makes the bombs, and Ned is the trigger, he sets them off. They're going after the cartel, and they're gonna blow up a bridge that the cartel boss is gonna drive over. Only thing is, his daughter's with him, and Ray wants to stop it because he won't kill children. Ned doesn't care. Kid dies, Ray beats up Ned, and he presumably gets court-martialed and kicked out of the military on a dishonorable discharge, but that doesn't really play into the movie per se. Years past, here's the revenge part. Siren Stone's character is called May. She, as a child, had her family killed by the cartel, and she wants revenge on that, and so she contacts Ray in order to take out the cartel. Now here's the convoluted part. Halfway through the movie you find out she's working for Ned, while Ned is also working for the cartel. But he's really after Ray. You see what I'm talking about? I think this script needed one more rewrite, get rid of the love interest, and it probably would have been an okay movie. But it's just a bad movie. And it's tone deaf because it's convoluted. Don't bother with the specialist because it's just... Ugh. Those are my thoughts on the specialist. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what you saw, like it. If you think other people will like it, share it. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and live your imagination.